So I just installed a hard disk in my case. Now I want to see if it's showing up or not. Um, it's um, mm, I was running out of uh, space on my M.2, so I installed bought uh, a two terabyte. Uh, 7200 rpm with 256 mb cache uh, as a storage device it arrived today i installed it just now and i want to see if it shows up in my system or not i don't know if it does or not let's see i am hoping that it will not the reason is if you remember <coughs> let me you cannot see the that part of the screen so what, what happened this one if you remember from this video we had to actually go to the disk management and configure the disk to show up uh, if you don't know uh, uh, how to do in a virtual machine you can come and see that uh, this video but it's exactly the same thing that we're gonna do uh, on this ma uh, machine in <coughs> in this machine this is my uh, host machine and you see it's uh, uh, I don't know if it will show up but I have 500 GB mm, hardware so so far my sh uh, the uh, the hard disk the 2 terabyte showing up in here uh, let's see Samsung it's not showing that it's a M.2 but it's a SSD 1970 Evo that's an M.2 disk so I checked on the bias earlier you can see that video if you want let me so now we're gonna do the fun stuff we can either go and manage here there are two ways to get to it if you click manage you can click on uh, disk management or you can right click on your start thing whatever it is device manager or disk management sorry disk management directly it will show up exactly the same thing now I say that you must initialize a disk before local logical disk manager can access it so logical disk manager is that our uh, you know uh, Windows uh, Explorer and all that that can go and see write and read and all that so what do you want if you want it to be a master boot record or guide uh, partition table I want it to be second one because MBR is already my SSD initialize <clears throat> now my disk zero is showing up here it's n allocated and it's saying it's online and it's about two terabyte new sample simple volume <clears throat> we run the wizard we give it the everything right it's exactly what's available I could partition it but I want to keep just one I want to sign the following letter D is already reserved for my uh, uh, what is it uh, I think it's DVD drive but that's a yep DVD drive but it's a plug and play if I remove it I get the D I should get the D right okay <clears throat> mm, but uh, you can mount it in the folly empty NTFS NTFS folder so what happens is that if I can um, mount it to my download folders right there where is it it should be somewhere here in oh it should be under users then you see if i can go to users then i can mount it in one of the um default or uh imran i think i'm under imran h and uh, i could go desk mode or documents and it's not giving me the okay so if I do the desktop <coughs> what's the folder that it can see okay so it should be an NTFS folder that you can do and you can make it part of that and basically whatever you save that folder size gets the whole disk from here the whole two terabyte but I don't want to do that I want to get the e drive do not format this drive I want to format it is at NTFS allocation everything want to give everything's um, default volume name you can give it a name if you want to uh, it's saying like uh, I would say storage <coughs> 
perform a quick format enable file and folder compression I don't want to do for compression that will take a lot of time and here we go it's formatting you can see right here next thing is healthy and I got my CE this PC if I go back here it says healthy primary healthy 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 everything is good nothing uh, like found uh, <coughs> Of, of course windows will run its diagnostic um, you can change the driver letter you can shrink a volume you can delete it you can get the properties and you get the properties like that it says you have used 162 and you have 181 available tools you can use the defrag and you should on a HDD <coughs> hard disk drive so I get the whole thing let's go here and compute computer management close everything out <clears throat> it's showing me storage E I want to go and check by going to this PC and it's showing up right here so essentially if I move my download folder and what's uh, the size here so I get 24 GB more out of my um, form out of my SSD so I get little more breathing room in that fold in this drive and whatever so a store I uh, things I've stored in here I can put them here so that's a neat thing that's what I'm going to do if you like this video uh, please read comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one